Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing Ghana feeding braids, also known as banana braids, and I'm going to show you how to do them in a braided bob. I have not done Ghana braids in years and like since I was in high school. So this is a regular feeding braid that you see right now, and this is a Ghana feeding braid. The difference is the lines on the feeding braid. That's what makes Ghana feeding braids unique, and I'm going to show you a detailed way to do them. Alright, so first let's split the braiding hair. I'm going to use black and brown color. Um, the hair is pre-stretched, so I'm just applying my Blue Magic Grease now. I like to apply this just to condition the braiding hair and to just make it smooth and shine. So this is how I'm going to split the hair. I'll split it in two first, okay, fill it with my hands. If one side is thicker, I take from one side to make sure both is even. So you first split in two, okay? So we have two pieces. So now I'm gonna take one of the pieces and we split it again, okay? Until we have four pieces. Now we have four pieces. I will split it again until we have eight pieces. So this is basically the split and fill technique. You split, you split the hair, you fill it, and you split again until you get the sizes of the braiding hair that you want. So you don't have to do this if you already know how to, you know, take out the size of braiding hair that you need when you are doing feeding braids. Um, like me, I'm already used to knowing the size of hair that I need on the back of my hand so like I don't have to do this but I just wanted to show you if you're a beginner how to do this so now we have eight pieces and I'm going to split the eight pieces again until we have we have um, 16 pieces so I want to get small sizes of braiding hair because we're going to be feeding in for Ghana braid so I will end up resplitting the hair when I start braiding because feeding braids is like you really um, feeding the amount of hair that you need as you go. So even after splitting all of this hair, you may see me resplitting it again when it's time to start the Ghana feeding braid. So I basically have all the hair lined out. I arranged it like this because it was windy, um, but this is the size, the small size, okay? So this is kind of like the small, the this small size is like the foundation for the Ghana feeding braid. Um, I'm not going to use um, thicker piece of hair to do the Ghana feeding braid, but I will be split the small sizes again into smaller micro sizes. Okay. So now we have the small pieces. I also did for some brown color braiding hair, as you can see. So now I'm going to we split the hair for the individual box braids. I'm going to do in the back. Um, because we're doing like uh, we're gonna do a bob and we're gonna do box braids in the back so the box braid size is gonna be um, I'm gonna split the hair to be like eight pieces so this eight pieces is going to give me a little bit bigger size of box braids that's a little bit bigger than medium and I'm going to use this eight pieces the size of this eight pieces that I'm doing for the box braids in the back I'm going to use it as a guide for the Ghana braids that I'm going to do in the front and what I mean by this is when I start to feed in the small pieces for the Ghana braids in the front I'm going to make sure it accumulates to the same size of the braiding hair that I will use for the box braids in the back which is the eight pieces that you just saw me split so this is my model's hair her hair is actually kinky curly but I blew it out so we're gonna do box braids in the back so I'm going to make a part around her ear level for the box braids
Okay, now that we have sectioned the area for the box braids and the Ghana braids in front, so I'm going to do a base braid in the back, okay? And this is going to be for the bob, for the bob to lay in a bob shape. So I'm going to do some con rolls underneath the box braids, okay? So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm parting the area that I'm going to do the um, con rolls. Okay, now that we have the cornrows situated, we grab one piece of the braiding here from the eight pieces that I sectioned for the box braids, and I'm going to start fitting in that into this braid. I'm going to stop right here on top of her shoulder and I'm going to make a knot so this is the length of the bob that we're going to be doing today it's going to fall on her shoulders after making the knot we're just going to burn it with fire now before burning just make sure that you braid past the natural hair okay because you don't want to burn you don't want to burn nobody's hair okay so I already braid past her natural hair I made the knot past her natural hair and then I'm going to burn that knot and then I'm just going to cut off the ends okay and I'm going to burn the ends that I cut again just to make it nice and secure now as soon as you burn it you're going to notice that the braid is going to curve a little bit on the end as you can see it's curved so now that we're done doing the base we're going to start doing the box braids and the base it's going to allow the box braids to lay, you know, in a bob formation. And I'm going to start taking those um, eight pieces of, of braiding hair, okay? And that's the size we're going to use for the box braids.
Okay, we're almost done with the box braids. As you can see, I added some of the brown color and I am loving it so far. So we are basically done with the box braids in the back and as you can see they all look like the same size. This is because we did the split and fill technique and you can see that the bob effect is showing and everything is nice and equal. So the braids underneath that we did the cornwall is giving the box braids space to lay like a bob. it's time to do the Ghana braids I'm just removing some of her edges for the baby hair and um, if you don't know how to do box braids or if you want to learn how to perfect your box braids I've done several videos on how I do my box braids that are very detailed specifically for box braids so I'll leave them in the description box so go watch those videos they're gonna help you with your box braids Okay, let's start the first Ghana braid, right? So I'm using those small pieces of hair and I re-split them again. Okay, and I'm actually about to re-split the first one again. <laughs> it's like micro size. So I'm going to allow you to watch the motion of my fingers before I explain again in the next braid. So just watch how my hand is moving. So this is what I'm doing right I'm taking those small pieces that we 
separated in the beginning of this video right and I'm going to resplit the ones in front of my hand so I'm resplitting it in a progressive way so we start from like micro to small if that makes sense so that's what I'm doing right now Okay, now I'm going to start with a tiny micro piece. I am going to braid one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to take the next tiny piece, place it over my hand. Okay, braid left and tuck it under on the right. Take the next piece, place it over my hand, braid the left side and braid the right side. So the way I am tucking it under, I am making sure that the braiding hair is showing over the braid. Unlike, you know, if you're doing regular feeding braids, you usually would try to hide the braiding hair from showing over the braid. But for Ghana braid or banana braid, you actually want the you want that banana effect, or you want that the braiding hair to kind of show over the braid, like that's the style. Okay, so I'm gonna place the next braid in here. Just place it over. You braid to the left side. You braid to the right side. So the braiding hair is tucked under on the right side and on the left side. Okay. So it's tucked under on the left side and on the right side. And you just continue this motion until you are almost done with the cornrow. I honestly feel like Ghana braid is easier to do than feeding braid, like the regular feeding braid where you're trying to avoid this whole braiding hair showing over the braid. This is easier because you don't have to worry about trying to hide the braiding hair from showing over the braid. And then I just finish it up and do the box braid. So I'll show you different angles so you can see how I do this from different angles. Another thing with Ghana braids is that I am following a rhythm okay it's a rhythm it's like okay after fitting in this hair right I'm gonna braid one two three take the next piece of hair okay I'm gonna fit it in one two three and then take the next piece of hair again fit it in braid one two and three so it's kind of like 
a rhythm you have to kind of have a rhythm because you want to um, place the braiding here not too far from each other so that it could look like it could look artistic okay and it could look really nice and um, to get the banana effect so make sure you're counting in your mind as you're filling in the hair and don't leave too much um, space so this is what it looks like so far you can see the banana effect and the bob I love it so now I am going to switch up the style and start braiding towards her face and just keep on watching. So now we're going to switch up the, the pattern of the style again but I hope you understand the feeding concept so far and um, one thing I want to add about this is the way you're standing and the way you're positioning your body can affect how the feeding will look it can start to look crooked if you don't stand um, properly if you don't stand facing the the corner that you're doing it, it may start to get crooked like when i started doing this side this this angle right you're gonna see that some of the braids were looking crooked that's because i was doing my best to show you guys the angle and stand and record so it was challenging along with my nails too so yeah but i you you see what i mean
Alright guys, so now we're just doing the finishing touch. I'm adding some spray oil on her scalp and I also went ahead to trim off the little flyaways with my scissors. Um, I'm glad that this braiding hair didn't have a lot of flyaways. Um, I will leave the link to the hair that I used to braid this hair in the description box. I also went ahead to add some mousse and um, that's basically it. So there's no hot water dipping. You don't have to dip the braids. If you use a good quality braiding hair, you will be fine. And this is the finished look guys. I'm so proud of myself that I was able to do this braids with my nails and also with this Ghana braids that I haven't done in like years, like since high school. Um, but yeah, it looks so good on my model and um, I absolutely love it. So this is a nice protective style and I really like that it fits my model's face. So my model is fitness model Daisy on Instagram. Check her out, she's amazing and she's a beautiful, calm, relaxed model to use for this hairstyle. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.